This week on my Working with Evernote episode, I'm going to answer the five most common questions I'm asked about Evernote, plus one question I cannot answer. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working with Evernote. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I've decided to do what I did with my Todoist episode and that is answer the five most common questions I'm asked about Evernote plus one question that I just cannot answer and I will explain as we get into the video. Now if you do learn something new in this episode and you really do appreciate what you did learn I would be most grateful if you would click on that like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet I would consider it a huge thank you if you would click on that subscribe button too. Okay let's go into Evernote and let me start answering all these questions that I do get asked every week about Evernote. Okay let me start off with the number one question I'm asked all the time about Evernote and that is how do I find my Evernote email address? Now, the problem here is it keeps changing. In the past, it used to go into Evernote preferences and you'd find it there and then you can go into, then it changed to go into your account, find it there. It's not there anymore. So where do you find it? So as of March 2019, to get your Evernote email address so that you can email notes or whatever, anything you want directly into your Evernote account, go to help. I know, strange, account settings, hit that and that will take you to your account settings and in your account settings you get the account summary and right down at the bottom you will get your Evernote email notes tool and you get your Evernote link. Now I just noticed there, look at that, I, I have been a member since two, September the 19th 2009 so I'm coming into my 10th year with Evernote. This is why I don't change, because I know it inside out. Okay, next one was, how do I add note to my favorites list? So let's go back into Evernote. So we've got our favorites here. Let me just drag this out so you can see it better. So I have all my favorites or shortcuts right here. And I have eight items in here. Now I do know that on a Mac, maybe this is not possible on a Windows. I believe it might not be. You can use the command one, command two. So if you notice there that my current is uh, the second in the shortcut list. If I hit command two, that will take me to my current. If I hit command one, it takes me to my inbox. So the question is, how do I move a note or a tag or a notebook or anything into my shortcuts? Well, there's several ways of doing this. You can actually click on, let's say here, I can do a control click and it will give me the option somewhere in here, add note to shortcuts. That's one way. Easiest way for me, I figure though, is just to drag it in, drop it in there. Uh, no, used to be able to drag it. <laughs> oh, there we go. I can just drag it in there and it's in and it's in my favorite shortcuts. What I can do though is I don't want that there. So you just drag it out, bang, and it's gone. So you drag it in and you can drag it out. So there's several ways you can do it. You can do this with notebooks as well. So I can just click on the three things here and add to shortcuts if I wish. So there's way, or I can just drag it into my shortcuts, which I'm not going to do because my shortcuts are nice and set up. So that's how you can get things into your shortcuts. Really, really nice way of doing it. Next up, number three is how do I set up a default notebook? Well, let's go into my notebooks here and let's say that uh, I'm just going to take this random one here. So at the moment, my inbox is my default notebook. And what that means is if I send any email directly to my inbox, uh, to Evernote, it's going to drop in my inbox. And I don't know why you would want to change that. But just in case you do want to change that, what you can do is take run any con right. I've got one here. Uh, my notebook for time and life mastery book and click on the ellipses here on the right hand side and it can come into set as default notebook and I can set that as my default notebook. I am obviously not going to do that but this is something that you can do. You can just click on whatever notebook you want and you can add in just change the notebook that will be your default. Okay, next up is how do I reorder my notes? Now, you are pretty limited here. Let me just 
let me move the sidebar because you don't need that one. There we go. So you are a little bit uh, uh, limited in what you can do here. But the way to reorder your notes is to click on the where it says updated. You'll see this little arrow. You can click on that. So now it comes in last one in to uh, today. So the last one will be at the top or you can click on there. There's various view options I should point out. So you can actually create this here by date updated, by date created by title, by size, by source, the URL, and you can change things uh, or you can show notes in groups. So you've got quite a few options here that I would suggest that you have a play around with uh, and you can decide how you want. Again, you can actually change the view that you have here in the left hand side while we're here. I'll show you this. You can have card view, uh, expanded card view. So card view basically means that you get all this done like that uh, on a big screen. That's actually quite useful, but I don't really, I'm quite happy with my uh, list view, side list view, which is what I have there. So you can change that. Uh, you can actually go in there and you can find a tag from here, but I actually haven't got any tags in my inbox because that's, and there's a few other options here, share notebook, and you do all sorts of things uh, from there. Uh, when I say share notebook, this is the inbox, so I'm obviously not going to be sharing my inbox, but there you go. That's how you do that. You you can reorder things directly from there. Number five is how can I move multiple notes at the same time? Well, actually, this is one of the one of my favorite features of Evernote is if I actually uh, click on there and then shift click down at the bottom, you get all your notes gathered together in one place. Now you've got various things. I can share all these notes. I can merge these notes into one. I can save any attachments that might be attached to them. I can create a table of contents from that. I can start a presentation from there. I can move notes to a project. If I click on that, it'll give me all my projects. I can move it to, sorry, notebooks. And I can click here and I can start adding tags. So there's a lot of options that you can use here when you're uh, sharing or moving multiple notes. So is you can do this as a very, very quick way. You just select all the notes in the sidebar and you can move them wherever you want. You can add multiple tags, you can share the notes, you can merge them into one. Oh, you can do all sorts of wonderful things. And finally, because I'm asked this question all the time, this is your bonus one, number six. How do I find my classic note link on Windows? Answer, I don't know, because I've ne I have never actually owned a Windows computer. I'm fully into the Mac system. So I had a look at this and I thought, right, what can we do? So I've gone to uh, this particular help and learning site of Evernote and how do I create note links? Now, for the Windows people, for you Windows users out there, and I know that's the majority of you, you open your notes list, you right click on the note you want to link to it, then select copy internal link. That will give you the classic note link as far as I'm aware. Unfortunately, I cannot test this because as I say, I do not have a Windows computer in my office, in my home, or anywhere that I work. So I'm not able to test this, but for those of you on the Windows users, you can you, you can test it. Open your notes list, right click on the note you want to link to, and then select copy internal link. Of course, if I am completely wrong here, I'm sure you Windows users will enlighten me using the comments section below. I will put a link to this help page in the show notes so that you can reference it yourself and have a good look around. Okay, well, there you go. There are the six most common questions I'm asked about Evernote. I do hope you found it useful. If you have learned anything from this and you appreciate what you've learned, then please hit that like button because that really helps me. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, again, I would consider it a huge thank you if you would subscribe. Okay, thank you very much for watching this episode. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you for watching this video. Now, if you want to take your productivity to a higher level, then get yourself enrolled in my 2019 edition of Your Digital Life 2.0 online. It is a complete, comprehensive productivity and time management course. And it's a course that will take you to levels of productivity you have only ever dreamt of before. It shows you how to build your very own COD system, collect, organize, and do. It shows you how to create the folder structure, how to build into your, your goals, into your daily to-do list. It 
has everything. And not only that, you will get a free copy of Your Digital Life 2.0, the book. You also get a free workbook and you get access to all the slides that are used in the course. It is incredible value. I want to see you in that course. If you are serious about becoming productivity, then please join me in Your Digital Life 2.0, the 2019 edition. Thank you very much for watching this video.